Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another Aussie father and son reviews video. Today we're reviewing the Batman. So we're gonna do a quick non-spoiler thing, like review without spoilers and all that. So and no then spoilers we'll go at the start. Spoilers. Yeah. So you can watch this if you haven't seen it. Watch the first bit, and then we'll let you know when to yep. stop. So <laughs> I'm the father, and I'm the son. Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. All right. So quick overview of the movie. Indeed. It is very much a detective story it's yeah, almost it's, three hours long it's a lot more like dark and more like detectiveness rather than he's just a brute force kind of guy which yeah. is awesome this is not a family movie no, don't take your children <laughs> no it is very dark if you've seen the 90s movie seven it's got very similar vibes to it really dark there is no bam zap pal that <laughs> from the batman yeah, it's, this is yeah this it's is a full-on like dark batman like full-on batman vibes yeah. with like it's full-on detective mode the riddler's amazing yeah. but like it, it does get dark which is so, awesome for batman. so you have the batman characters in it you got yeah. penguin catwoman batman riddler however they don't, they're not like we're no. saying, like, and it's more co the comic books. Um, so, it's so good. It, and the story flows, and I didn't even know where it was going. Oh, yeah. It really flows along. It's this yeah, so great I saw it story. Before, and I saw it again with you, and I'll just watch for your reaction. <laughs> and you got so surprised. That's There's cool lots of twists and turns along the way. I would highly recommend it. And if yeah. you like that style of movie, it is not a Marvel movie at all. This is <laughs> a real gripping movie. And yeah. if it wasn't, Batman as the title, it would still be a really good it movie be, yeah. because it, it, the writing is brilliant. They they wrote it so well. Yeah. So we should probably get into the spoiler stuff. We now. probably should because I'm dying to actually say, it. is it worth the watch? Absolutely. Definitely. All right. So we're going to get into spoilers. Stop now. Go and watch okay. it, and then come back and watch this. All right. Indeed. So overall. Yeah. Um, our spoiler Amazing review. Mother. Like, what did what do you think? You yeah, can so, say anything. So the Riddler was so cool, and like how they wrote the story, it was all entwined. There was so many things. I watched it a second time with you, and I picked up on so much more. Yeah. It was so good. So we've only just come back. Literally walked in the door, sat down. He's watched it twice. I've watched it <laughs> once. Yeah. Um, look. Where it actually takes and the Riddler's kills along the way and so, yeah. I, I couldn't so it's think like a what murder was actually mystery. Oh, it definitely. So, yeah. And who the Riddler was, I was thinking, is it a character so, we've actually yeah. seen? And it kind of gives little clues along the way that I'm thinking, hang on a second, and <laughs> the father, and I'm thinking, well, yeah. what's actually going to happen with the Batman, and, and then Selena Cole about yeah. wh who her father is, and oh, like it was so good. Yeah, so yeah. much along the way. I, yeah, my favourite character in that was the Riddler. He was yep. so like, because you didn't, you didn't really see much of him, but you knew his character from his kills and like the storyline and all that. And then when it finally revealed, he was just a guy. Yeah. Which is awesome about this movie. There's no like superpowers. There's no supernatural stuff. It's just good people, just normal people. And he, it, the Gotham is a messed up place, and this show because he just was trying to like kill people and all that to try and fix Gotham, and he had 500 followers that were down to do the exact same thing. Oh. It was such an amazing story arc with the Riddler. I'm so glad they picked him for like the villain. Oh, I, it was brilliant. And as you said. His character was a development of yeah. his actions, yeah, and we didn't actually know character. much about him. But yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Um, my favourite character. Um, have a few, don't you? <laughs> I do have a few. I thought Colin Farrell as the Penguin. I could not yeah. pick it. That was, it was really good. Oh, it was brilliant. The makeup artist and how he yeah. portrayed was brilliant. Um, so but also, yeah, the Riddler mm. and and Robert Pattinson's Batman. Yeah. I think he hit this out of the park. Yeah. Same I thing. He didn't really great. have too many lines, but he was so like. Yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. So I actually, um, one of the surprising things was I was surprised how many times Batman would just walk into a room like in the <laughs> yeah, with all the, the police floor. officers, and, and it, it was just good. It wasn't. We didn't like have to see the backstory. We just knew Batman being there for like two years. He was friends yeah. with all of it, and it was just so good that it got yeah. straight into it. I, I loved it. There was no. Yeah. We didn't have to see his parents die. All of that. Yeah. All right. Favorite scene. So we're going to break this up into two because there was the. Movie was quite contrast, so we're going to say yeah. our favorite action scene and then our favorite drama like kind of scene. Unrolling yeah. a mystery. Yeah. Like, so do you want yeah, to go so first? Favorite yeah, action scene? No doubt it's the Batmobile scene where he's chasing the penguin. That was so sick, and how he just like the way they did it on the side view mirror, and he just came out of the flames and walked up to the car. That was so cool. 
That was pretty awesome. Indeed. So my favorite drama scene, that is, I was tossing action up between scene. that, action scene, sorry, we're tossing up between that, but I'll go with the other one, is when he was in the hallway of Falcone, and oh, it was and dark, the and the machine guns, and he was just <laughs> that was fighting cool. people, and it was, yeah, you'd just see glimpses, the flashes of it, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, so, favorite drama favorite scene. Drama. I really liked when you went back to the apartment, and they unlocked the video, they ripped up the carpet, and the other cop was there, like, the cop was there, like, doing, being like, what were you doing, and all that, and then the the cars blew and all of that it was just such a cool scene that kind of like finished like the mystery and the story and all yeah. that so mine is kind of the not exactly one scene it's all but just it. <laughs> just the every time they get a riddle and they have to work it out and and i was trying to jump ahead and trying to think in front of it and yeah. oh it was i thought it was absolutely brilliant and I often think that I can pick where the movie's flying. Yeah. I can pick it off with this one. This was, was just so amazing. good. So, amazing, so, amazing. Absolute, so that was our favourite scenes, our favourite characters. For this one, just general question, out of all the Batman movies we've seen and everything, yeah. how where do we rank this? We, it's it is quite new. The top. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. such a good movie. I love how it shines. But Batman's just not this brute force guy. He's a detective. And it's just so good. I, I think it's great as a standalone movie as well. It's not incorporated Yeah, it's great how like DC's else. finally given up on trying to make an MCU and just doing a standalone film. Yeah, look, um, it's right up there. I love The Dark Knight, yeah. so um, I'll have to watch this a few more times to see, but it's definitely, <laughs> yeah. when I walked out, I probably had the same feeling as I did when I walked out of The Dark Knight. Yeah. So right up there. Yeah. Is Robert Pattinson the best Batman I don't know. I'd love to see him more. It's movie, hard yeah. to tell in a movie, and he, he he did a good job. He did a brilliant job. Um, there was no sparkling vampires in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fantastic. Um, so ranking out of five, what would four. you give this? I loved four. it. It was such a good movie. Yeah, I'd probably say four as well. Um, if I, I watch it a few more times, I might edge up to four and a half. Yeah, when we like watched all the trailers, four. I was really hyped for it. Then when we got to the movie day, I was like, I need to watch one of the trailers before I go in to get hyped again. And I was hyped again and I went in and it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant. So, um, if you enjoyed this, check out our other videos, subscribe Indeed. to our channel, yep. follow us on Insta, all those <laughs> things, click Indeed. the like button. And I'm the father. And I'm the son. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.